Santa Cruz. Um, Elizabeth, um, your family is very proud of you and I want you to really know that. And I really wanted to make this video earlier this weekend, but um, we helped you move out of your apartment. We traveled up north to see you and just the way the schedule was, it was very hard to get the time to say the right words to you. But I haven't forgotten to do this and I've been thinking about you a lot this weekend and so has the family. And on their behalf, I want you to take this video as a, a token of how much we value you, how much we appreciate you, how much we're proud of you, and how much we believe in your abilities. And I want to say very quickly that from a very young age, we all were very impressed when we would see you around the house during your elementary school days and you would get assignments in school, you would start working on them immediately, and th you had this sense of responsibility that sometimes adults don't even have. And I remember thinking, this is my little sister, look at her. She, you know, just feels this duty to do well. And all these years, you've worked very hard to get to this point. And I want you to never forget that because that kind of persistence is a lot of times really all that we have. We don't have control over a lot of things. And you've always demonstrated a very good ability to adapt to new situations as well. And I believe that you have it in you to continue to do that for the rest of your life. And one thing that comes to mind is during your high school years, you unfortunately had to move to a few different schools, but every time that you did, you would make new friends, um, things were hard in the beginning, but you would always adapt and you would always basically find your comfort zone and just get to work. And Elizabeth, you have it in you to do pretty much anything that you want to do. And we love you. We're proud of you. And we wish you all the best always. And I want you to remember that even if it's, you know, whether it's moments of celebration like this weekend, or whether things get really hard, we're here for you and we're here to support you 100%. And we just want you to remember the beautiful person that you are, the intelligent person that you are, the person that has worked hard since you were a little girl, nonstop, and has adapted to just about every situation I can imagine within the family and outside of the family. So Elizabeth, you have everything that you need to succeed and we're here for you. You have a cheering squad, you have a supporting team, and um, I'm very proud of what awaits in the future um, for someone like you. Um, congratulations on your um, psychology degree. I know that you have been very consistent in wanting to enter the field of psychology for some years now, and um, I will be here as well as the rest of the family to support you as you go into this new stage of your life. And above all, Elizabeth, this weekend was such a, it was such a rewarding feeling to see the same little girl that I remember, um, you know, I remember your first day in preschool and how much you cried. And um, I'm thinking, this is the same little girl years later, um, graduating from school, having lived away from the family for five years with a sense of independence. Um, you're now married. Um, you've been raising my nephew and on, you know, dis despite that, or maybe because of that, um, you've never stopped. And if there's anything I admire in this world, it's the ability to continue when you have every reason not to continue anymore. So Elizabeth, we're proud of you and we love you. And once again, congratulations on your graduation this weekend.